One of my favorite things to do as a video editor is to add bokeh or light leaks to my footage. You can use bokeh and light leaks to really enhance your footage and add some light and energy to your shots. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this inside Premiere Pro. Now, where do you get bokehs or light leaks? Well, you can actually go onto a stock subscription website such as Envato Elements, browse their bokeh or light leaks section, and there's quite a few different options you can choose from. A link is down in the video description if you do wanna check out Envato Elements but you don't necessarily need to purchase an online subscription. You could create these on your own. You could simply just grab a flashlight or some type of light source, turn off the lights, and then aim the light at the camera. That's how I created these light looks. I actually shot these clips in my garage, pulled out my car, turned off the lights, and shined a light into the camera of the lens. So how do you actually take these files and blend them into your footage? Well, inside Premiere Pro here, I have my light leaks and a timeline here. And maybe we want to add some light leaks to these shots here of the wedding and then maybe to this DJ footage. What you can do is navigate to your light leaks that you shot or downloaded. And you can click and drag this above your footage. Now the key here is to click on the footage and go up to effects controls. And where you want to go is actually change the blending mode to linear dodge add. And this will change the way that the footage is blended to the underlying layers. You can experiment with a lot of different options. Another good alternative is screen and screen blends it a little softer. There's even color too, which just passes through the color of the original footage. So feel free to explore with these, but in this case, I'm gonna choose linear dodge add. Now you can see that the flame flicker effect is added to our footage here. Now we can enhance this a little bit. Maybe we only want the flicker to happen at a period of time. We can grab our pen tool and make keyframes on the opacity to only have it present at certain times. For example here, maybe we want it to be most prominent at this point in time. I can grab my pen tool, make a point here on my video footage, make another point and drag this point down. And then make another point on the right side and drag it down here. And now when we play this back, you'll see that we have it kind of fade in and fade out. Now currently it's added to our entire footage here. But another way you can enhance light leaks is actually to make a mask. Maybe we don't want it as powerful. What you can do is go back into effects controls and create a mask under opacity. I'm gonna click the ellipse mask button and inside the program monitor, you can see now that we have an ellipse that we can change the bounds of to get a custom looking mat. So I'm gonna extend these edges here and then back in effects controls, I'm gonna check the inverted button. Then I'm gonna change the mask feather up a little bit that way it kind of feathers the edges of the mask. And now we can see the flame flicker effect is only visible on the edges of the clip. So let's add another clip for this DJ footage here. Over here, maybe we want to add this rainbow scroll. We can just click and drag above the DJ clip, click on our clip, and then just go to linear dodge add. And you can see the difference here with adding that light leak. It added a lot more energy to the shot where without it, this is what it looks like without it. You can see not as much energy and light coming out of the shot. So that's just a few of the ways that you can use bokehs and light leaks inside your video project. If you want to learn more about Premiere Pro, here's a tutorial I think you might like right up there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.